Whether it's beef cattle or dairy cattle, all cattle need water. Richie brings you fresh water on demand. Richie, proud to be a partner to the American cattlemen since 1921. Hello, I'm Marcus Bricks with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Richie Watering Systems. When selling finished cattle ready for slaughter, the cattle feeder has a few options. In the past, the most common sales were negotiated cash sales, where the packer's cattle buyer directly quotes a price to the feed yard. Today, most cattle are purchased on a grid or formula base, where some cattle are negotiated in the cash market and the rest are priced off these. The cattle feeder can also accept a forward price, where a basis is established weeks or months in advance. Each pricing style has its advantages and disadvantages and perform better or worse depending on the current market. In quickly uptrending markets like 2014, forward priced cattle tend to not capture the price increase as well as other forms of marketing. The short term upswing is sometimes forfeited to accept a basis position, making a trade off to lower exposure to price risk. In 2014, on average, live cattle sold in the cash market brought in 4.8% higher prices than those that were forward contracted. Cash cattle sold on a dress basis did even better compared to the forward contracts, selling 9.4% higher on average. On the flip side, in a bear market like we're currently facing, forward priced cattle can perform better than negotiated or formula priced cattle. Year to date in 2015, live cattle in the cash market have sold for 3.35% less than forward priced cattle. Since July 1st, the premium is even wider, with cash cattle selling for 6.26% less. From this year's high to last week's market, the five area cash live cattle price has now seen a 23% decline. Measuring from the same week that cash cattle set the high, the delivered prices for forward contracted cattle have only fell 7.5%. The relationship between negotiated cash sales and forward price sales is more variable than the relationship between cash and formulas based on the time factor. In the last three years, cash cattle have sold for an average of 1.38% less than formula cattle with a standard deviation of plus or minus 2%. Bottom line, the cattle feeders should not limit their marketing strategy to just one option, but evaluate the market trends and choose a marketing strategy that best fits their risk tolerance. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real, the risks are high, but the opportunities have never been greater. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 40 years, Cattlefax has led the way. Become a member at www.cattlefax.com. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective, our vision is global, and our focus is you. Cattlefax, the deciding factor.